George Zimmerman gets a boost from expert testimony. This is What's News at this hour on WSJ Live. I'm Jason Bellini. Trayvon Martin was likely on top of George Zimmerman when Zimmerman shot him. That was the testimony today from a forensic expert as defense attorneys try to prove that Zimmerman feared for his life. Forensic pathologist Dr. Vincent DeMaio, an expert on gunshot wounds, helped back up Zimmerman's account of events. And based upon the concentration of the marks and the size of the pattern, uh, it's my opinion that the muzzle of the gun in this case was two to four inches away from the skin. In another blow for prosecutors, the judge in the case denied their motion to keep toxicology results showing THC in Martin's system from the jury. Zimmerman's trial could wrap up this week. Egypt finally has a new leader. Former finance minister Hazem El Bablawi will serve as interim prime minister. Mohamed al Bardi will assume the role of vice president. The move comes after street violence and a military operation resulting in at least 50 deaths following the military ousting of Mohamed Morsi of the Muslim Brotherhood from office. The presidential appointment gets the ball rolling on drafting Egypt's new constitution, but it could also create more tension by antagonizing the group that is already resisting a secular government. The midnight announcement came with a series of decisions aimed at reversing some of former President Morsi's more controversial policies. Popular video site Hulu is attracting a line of suitors. Bidding companies include DirecTV, AT&T, and private equity firm KKR. This is according to people who are familiar with the matter. The price is no small number. DirecTV submitted an earlier round bid of more than a billion dollars. Among the reasons they're attracted to Hulu, their subscriber group and internet television service. It's hard to tell who will win the race just yet. A definitive agreement will be made in the next week or two. We'll keep you posted on all the latest news developments throughout the day on What's News on WSJ Live.